Hey guys, this is Justin with Super Shy Guy Gaming, and we are back to play some more Castlevania Simply the Night. So, as we were going last time, I was mentioning we're going to go ahead and get the mist form. So we can advance some more. And that's exactly what we're going to work on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little backtracking. We actually opened up the underground cavern from earlier whenever I stepped on that switch. That's what actually caused that to open, apparently. So, Or maybe I stepped on some other switch. I don't know. But uh, I'm pretty sure that was the one that opened it up. But in any case, we're going to go ahead and travel back this way to get where we need to go. Just got to kill some skeletons and uh, all that good stuff. Nothing unusual, really. Kill all the skeletons, because might as well. You get experience points. It's definitely worth your time. Not to mention they might drop loot occasionally, so... Okay, so let's go ahead and stick with the... I'm sure that thing's still there. I don't want to lose the clocks here, so we're just going to wait a little bit. There we go. That way you don't accidentally lose an item that we wanted to keep. Okay, so this is the clock room here. So we've got this area up here we can go up to now since we've got the double jump. If I can jump properly, that is. Apparently I can't. There we go. Nice. That'll work. Okay. And now that we're up here, we've got Ulrox's quarters here. And the fucking boomerang guys, man, I swear. Okay. We just have to keep some distance and kind of draw out their attack. You know, it's the best way to really deal with them. You know, unlike last time whenever I uh, wasn't dealing with them properly, so... I don't know why I did that, but oh well. Oh, dang it. That didn't work out very good. Yes, we can bust this open. Yeah. For some reason, its weapons kept floating away. That's really strange. <laughs> but whatever, though, right? Uh, let's see. Go ahead and bust these open. We got a cheese, onyx, and broadsword. Is the broadsword going to be an upgrade versus what we already had? Let's find out. Actually, it looks like it is a little bit of a damage upgrade. Speed seems to be about the same, so we've got another upgrade. Nice. So let's back dash to victory. And uh, just grab some hearts and whatnot to replenish what we lost before. Um, let's just ignore him for now. Okay. Because he's just being kind of an a-hole, honestly. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Dang, that was close. Too close, matter of fact. There we go, that dealt with him pretty easily. I actually forgot about that about that enemy. Did you have more than one attack at all? Apparently not. Oh, but you do a lot of damage, so I guess I'll give you credit there. Where it's due, Blade. That's really weird how he throws his sword. I don't get that. Like, why did he even bother doing that? Oh well. Okay, so that dealt with those guys. They're pretty simple, I guess. Um, actually, I think I might be going the wrong way. I think I'm kind of like traveling in a weird tangent now. I don't know. It's been a while, so. Oh, we have found a new teleporter. Okay, actually, I know where I am now. I did kind of bat go the wrong way a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and go back the way we came, then. Because right here, we can vertically go up if we had enough uh, 
means to do so, you know, you can use to batter. You know, just various things like that, I suppose. Oh, shit. Let's just deal with him the easy way. Dang, he takes a lot of hits. He really tanks it. There we go. There we go. He has a lot less health than the sword guy did for some reason. You'd figure he would have had more. He looked like he had more armor. So, yeah. I was supposed to go down and to the left, I believe, here. But let's see if, yeah, that doesn't bust open, so that's fine. Okay. Alright. There we go. That took him out good. Okay, here we are at Coliseum. Hmm. Okay. I think we just need to go straight here. We're actually pretty close, if I remember right. Yeah, there it is right there, actually. Just on the other side of those bars. So we just need to go around. Okay. There we go. He did not have an infallible strategy. And we gain another level. Ooh, 400 bucks. That's a lot for one grab. Okay, so I guess we just have to work down here and uh, go through here, too. Now, we can go back that way later, I suppose. But for now, let's just go ahead and grab the money. Oh, library card. Got it. Uh, I forgot this is a boss fight or not. Yeah, it is. Who are you? Open Hell's Gate! Come forth, my servants! The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle! <laughs> okay, you're weird. Yep. They might kick my ass, possibly. Okay, yeah, they totally did. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my. Uh, there was a save point I think I might have missed that uh, would have made things a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward till we get back to this particular area that I was at. Because um, obviously I don't want to have you guys watch several more minutes of me doing the same things I already did. So yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so actually using the time stopper allows me to go up this way. So we're going to go ahead and try that real quick. Um, because for some reason the other path that I needed to go wasn't opening up. Uh, so let's try it one more time here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and check this out real quick here. Oh, we got some items here. Alucard shield and heart max up. So I just figured, oh, we got more items. Alucard mail and Alucard sword. Well, that's pretty cool. We got some really cool stuff there. So, um, that's something I missed from before. Um, so I guess we're just going to go ahead and fast forward again. Okay, so we're finally back to the Coliseum, and our save point should be just down here, I think. I think. I don't know if it's down there or if it's over here. Let me see here. Okay, here it is. Okay, sweet. I figure it's pretty close. I just knew it was uh, not going to be over to the left there. Um... So yeah, now that we've got that, we can actually potentially make it to the boss without dying, so that would be really awesome. So let's go ahead and do that. Just kill some skeletons here. And, uh... Mm, don't need to go up. Oh yeah, I do need to go up there, actually, because... Yeah. So you have to fight a freaking boss just to get the mist power up. That's great. It's kind of interesting, really. This game's progression is more about the power-ups and things like that rather than the actual encounters. 
It's a really interesting uh, way they've handled things, you know, with with how they've done that. Kind of like different from this Metro or Metroid games where it was, I mean, you obviously needed power-ups to progress, but like, I don't know, it just seemed more like the bosses were the, the important reason behind it all. That's just a impression that I've gotten from it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing that way that we need to go to yet. Maybe soon. But now that we've got back to the boss area, at the library card, I guess that's probably there so that you have a chance if you want to go back to the library and, you know, maybe shop before you go to the boss. Open so, Hell's yeah. Gate. Come forth, my servants. The scent of your and I totally forgot to use my freaking time power up while I had the chance. Who invades my castle. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't do anything here. It's one of these bosses. Actually, I think, yeah, the most bosses it doesn't actually work on. So I probably should have got something else, but I'm get my butt totally hammered here. So this is kind of like the Saigon and Gabor battle or whatever it's called. So we need to use uh, a potion, I think, here. Let's go ahead and temporarily unequip this. How many regular potions? Okay, we got three of them. Okay, that's fine. I can even use it in time. It only gives me 50 and they take off like a whole bunch. Well, I guess I don't really need... Crap. Okay, we took out the minute or the 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 werewolf. So holy crap, really? Okay, let's use another potion then. Crap. He's oh yeah, look at that corner crapping man. Yeah, screw that. Um, fast forward again then. You know, it's actually a good idea that I went ahead and backtracked because there's some stuff that I missed here at the library that now I can get to because of the uh, double jump. And interestingly enough, there's some stuff that I can further miss here. But uh, yeah, look at this. A nice old save point. Just nicely tucked away here. Uh, <laughs> so it's pretty interesting. And the save point actually, interestingly, enough, has entrances on both sides. So this is some new stuff that we can check out real quick here. I don't think there's anything... If I remember right, there's nothing, like, particularly awesome here, but I might be mistaken. It's just been a long time since I played, so I guess we'll see. Oh, I guess we could just duck right under his attack. It would have been nice to know earlier. But yeah, that's a really interesting little enemy. He kind of rides on this little armored thing, and then, yeah. So let's go up this way, I suppose. Oh, crap, he's fast. So, I don't know. I guess maybe he's not riding anything. Maybe that's his actual armor and then you take it off, I guess. I can't get up there yet. So, we might have to... Oh, crap. Revisit this again. Stop attacking me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we're really missing much. Okay, I guess I can get up this way. Let's go ahead and see what's over there. If there's anything interesting loot-wise or enemy-wise or so on for us to check out there. Okay, get... Oh, my... Sh I have to do all that again because he knocked me off. There we go. Let's fast forward, then. And now that he's dead, we can make the jump, finally. There we go. Nice. And we got a... Stone mask? Okay, not sure what that's about. I don't know if there's anything over there or not. I'm thinking there probably is. I just... Don't know how you're supposed to get there. Oh, wait. Never mind. That answers that question. <laughs> you just push. Got the towpath, circle it, and holy rod. Okay. We'll check out what those do in a little bit, and uh, I'll see if there's anything else of interest here. Let's just run down this way and see what we got. Crap. Dang, he hits hard with the next. That son of a bitch had next. Yeah, they're a lot weaker without the armor pieces, so. 
Definitely deal with them if you can. Let's just, uh... Go down here. Nice. Oh, shoot! An enemy here. Actually, boss. But it looks like the speed slowdown does help against this one. So he's like probably a more of a minor boss. So let's just uh, kind of cheap it out, use up our hearts, and kill him. Simple enough. Yeah, I think he was just a sub-boss. I don't think he was anything particularly important. But we'll take the life up. Why not? Um, not sure if there's anything else this way. But I guess we'll find out. Ah, Tacky Mitsu, I already got one of those. Frankfurter, I uh, didn't even see what the other thing was. But, um, yeah. We'll go ahead and fast forward now to uh, the boss that we were going to do this whole time, I think. Um, but before the boss, I'll let you guys know what kind of new gear and things like that we're equipping against him to you know, improve our survivability. So we'll see you then. Okay, we're finally back, and I'm here at the boss. I went ahead and purchased a Damascus sword, which increases the damage output that I've got here. I've also purchased a Reverse Cloak, which increases my armor, and this increased both my attack and defense a little bit. Uh, so those are all really good upgrades to do. And then, of course, I do have a couple of other things that I can equip, like the Stone Mask here I think might be a good thing to equip, you know, just to increase the defense a little bit. Um, that's really what the whole game plan there is. And so I think we're pretty much ready to, uh, to you know, get started here. So um, I did get a slightly different item. I don't know what this one actually does here, so... Open whatever. Hell's here. Gate. Come forth, my servants. <laughs> the scent of your blood. You're a bell. Oh, Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually hit pretty hard. Okay. That's pretty useful then. It's like a chain lightning attack or something. Okay. Well, this makes things a lot easier then. Okay, we already took him out. That was a pushover. Holy moly. Oh, holy crap. He's got me in a... Fine though, doesn't he? Oh, is he dead? Yep, he is dead. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. That's right. Get our potion for some life max up, and now we just need to grab our thing here. Bam! Obtain Form of the Mist, which is this one here. Uses up our mana. So we finally have something that actually is useful that uses up our mana. So I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. I'm just going to go ahead and cash in at the save point. Uh, so I hope you guys tune into the next episode of uh, Symphony of the Night with me, Justin, here at Super Shy Guy Gaming. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and comment. Uh, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, but till then, Justin out.